What's up? What's up? What's up? It's your boy T1000. Back again, back again, back again. With some news, with some news. Sorry for the long wait, guys. I've been kind of busy, but it is June 3rd, 2019. Now let's take a look at the market now. So you have Bitcoin down 2.33 percent, sitting at 8,500. You got Ethereum down 3 percent at 260. XRP is up 0.39 percent. Bitcoin Cash down 3.42. Litecoin too. EOS down five. So we got a lot of a lot of coins down. A lot of coins down, guys. Stellar, Tron, Cardano. Let's see the big winners. Maximine Coin, Bitcoin SV. Still not sure why that keeps pumping. You got Cosmos. They're up. Ethereum Classic. I noticed they pumped recently. Engine Coin. Let's, let's take a look at some news for today, guys. So, you have U.S. regulator CFTC in talks with Facebook over rumored crypto plans. Ooh. So, as you guys know, Facebook is coming with their own coin. Hmm. Let's see. United States Regulator Commodities Futures Trading Commission and talks with Facebook about its upcoming stablecoin launch. The publication revealed Facebook is attempting to smooth out regulatory landscape ahead of the asset. Currently dubbed Global Coin is going live next year. Ooh. I don't know. What do you guys think about the Facebook coin? Not really a big fan of it. You have Brazilian state-owned bank funds documentary via its own Ethereum-based token. Hmm. So it looks like an Ethereum token here. They've been funding, probably been holding, storing up lots of Ethereum. And they use that in order to fund something special here. Let's see. BitMEX Ventures invest in crypto exchange licensed by Philippine Central Bank. Hmm. BitMEX Ventures has invested into a crypto exchange licensed by the Central Bank of the Philippines. Wow. That's kind of big news, I guess, if you live in the Philippines. Early this year, Western Union partnered with its Philippines-based Coins.ph to enable customers to conduct cross-border and receive funds directly. Wow. Pretty good, pretty good. Blockchain check used by enterprise risk of becoming obsolete in 18 months. Huh? Research firm Gartner has warned that 90% of blockchain technology used by enterprises will be replaced in 18 months. I wonder why. Let's see. Yeah, I don't know about this, guys. I don't know. I disagree with that. Let's check out some other news. Oh, Craig Wright fights back says binance funding women's slavery whoa come on craig come on craig get up craig i don't know what craig is talking about but whatever seems like he's mad that you know people aren't going with his his way so oracle of bitcoin calls btc movement predicts 10k price soon and i agree with that analysts weary bitcoin almost loses multi-week winning streak i don't believe that 
Come on, guys. We got to come with some better news than this. Bitcoin fees on the rise. BitMEX and Coinbase should batch. TXS. Yeah, they are on the rise. Hmm. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I don't know. Just hold, guys. Just hold. That's the moral of this. Just hold. I mean, I know they come with different news every day, and they try to scare you out of your coin, but just hold. Just hold it. Just, just, just hold it. Um, don't really see too much. Don't really see too much on here that's special today. Uh, digital ID, I'm sure that'll be coming. Get ready for that. Get ready for your chip also. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it today as far as the news goes. And let's check out a word from our sponsors today. So you got CryptoPiggyBanks.com. Great website. They got lots of t-shirts, keychains. You can learn different tips and tricks and other information. So I, I definitely recommend um, reaching out. I really like this shirt. I'm thinking about getting it. Get some shirts for my kids. Get them a little Bitcoin chain. So that's pretty much that. Now let's check out our other sponsor. Bitcoin News 365. Learn, invest, succeed. So you got a lot of other news going on in the world, different things, you know. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Definitely a uh, good website. Suggest you guys give it a look. But other than that, there is no major news happening. We can do a little bit of analysis. Let's see what, what, where we're at here, guys. Man, we jumped up from that point, I'd say. So it looks like we were finding a little bit of resistance at 74, dropped down. Boom, blew through the 74. And then we hit that eight, a magic 82 number. Shot back down 7,000. Then we went back up, up, almost scratching the 82. Boom, back 7,000. Scratch up again. And 87. No, 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 guys. Go back down to 82. Shot back up. 87. No, 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 guys. So my prediction is we're going to go back down here to around 82. I'd say. Or seven, uh, I'd say 76, guys. Get ready for 76 to 82. Somewhere in there. In that price range, I feel like we're going to get some support around 76 if we go there. And next stop will be 9,000. Go down again. Next stop after that, 78. And then after that, I see us going to 10K. Once we cross that magic 10K number, it's going to wake a lot of people up. That's their magic mental number. And they see 10,000. Five, five, we're going to have some um, major changes happening. So, that is your news for today, and this is T1000. Check out Bitcoin News 365, check out CryptoPiggyBanks.com, and you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'm out.